Welcome to part four of our lecture series on lipids. Here we will learn about the basic structure and properties of waxes. Waxes are formed when a fatty acid combines with a long chain alcohol forming an ester bond. Spermaceti is a waxy substance found in the head cavities of the sperm whale and in smaller quantities in the oils of other whales. Spermaceti is created in the spermaceti organ inside the whale's head. This organ may contain as much as 1,900 liters or 500 U.S. gallons of spermaceti. The spermaceti is thought to play a biological role in echolocation for the whales. Whaling fleets in the 1800s hunted the sperm whale to near extinction. At the height of whaling, nearly 5,000 animals were killed each year. Spermaceti was harvested from the head of the animal and the rest discarded. It was sold largely as lamp fuel. Waxes can be found throughout the biological world in all kingdoms of life. In the example here, water birds such as Laris argentatus, shown here, maintain and waterproof their feathers by smoothing waxes produced by the uropygial gland located near the anus. These are called preen waxes. Beeswax, Sera alba, is a natural wax produced by honeybees of the genus Apis. The wax is formed into scales by eight wax-producing glands in the abdominal segment of the worker bees, which discard it in or at the hive. The hive workers collect it and use it to form cells for honey storage and larval and pupal protection within the beehive. Chemically, beeswax is a mixture that consists mainly of esters of fatty acids and various long-chain alcohols. The wax ester, triacontinyl palmitate, is a major component of beeswax. The picture at the top shows water beads on the waxy cuticle of kale leaves. This cuticle is composed of an insoluble cuticular membrane impregnated by and covered with soluble waxes. The epidermis consists of a layer of cells covering both the upper and lower surfaces of the leaf and located directly below the cuticle. These cells have lost their protoplasmic contents and the outer wall has become very much thickened and infiltrated with a waxy substance which makes the leaf waterproof. Suberin, shown here, is created by fatty acid lipids being attached to glycerol backbones in a randomized and disordered net of lipids, forming what is called the dark lamellae. The outer wall is called the cuticle and is composed of cutin, a waxy substance similar to suberin, cross-linked with plant cell wall carbohydrates to form a protective, waterproof layer. A sebaceous gland is a microscopic exocrine gland in the skin that opens into a hair follicle to secrete an oily or waxy matter called sebum, which lubricates the hair and skin of mammals. Sebum is made up of triglycerides, free fatty acids, wax esters, squalene, cholesterol esters, and cholesterol. In humans, the sebaceous gland occurs in the greatest number on the face and scalp, but also on all parts of the skin except the palms of the hand and the soles of the feet. In the eyelids, meibomian glands, also called tarsal glands, are a type of sebaceous gland that secrete a special type of sebum into tears. These sebaceous glands within skin are responsible for the secretion of the oily compounds that form the primary skin barrier. The secretion of ceramide lipids from sebaceous glands plays a major role in forming the barrier function of the skin. Cer1, listed here, is only one of 11 known ceramides found on the skin surface. Intermolecular hydrophobic forces that form between the ceramide molecules create a highly impermeable barrier with robust integrity. In addition, compounds such as sapienic acid are also secreted onto the skin surface. These small acids have potent antibacterial activity 
and provides natural defenses against the types of bacteria that cause acne and other opportunist pathogens such as Staphylococcus aureus. Overall, this section has introduced you to some of the diverse waxy compounds found in nature. In the next section, you will learn more about the steroid class of lipids.